हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक क्रिटिकल पाथ मेथड इन अ चैप्टर नंबर फोर कंस्ट्रक्शन प्लानिंग ऑफ अ सब्जेक्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन मैनेजमेंट सो हियर क्रिटिकल पाथ मेथड सो देर आर दी टू मेथड्स टू ड्रॉ दी नेटवर्क डायग्राम फर्स्ट वन इज अ सी पी एम मीन्स क्रिटिकल पाथ मैथड एंड सेकेंड वन इज अ पर्ड पी आर टी प्रोग्राम यूलेशन रिव्यू टेक्निक सो हियर इन अ क्रिटिकल पाथ मैथड टूडे वी डिस्कस ऑन इट सो इन अ जी टी एग्जामिनेशन जनरली सी पी एम वॉट इज सी पी एम एंड एक्सप्लेन इन अ डिटेल दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आस्क इन अ जी टी यू एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो क्वेश्चन आस्क एज अ वाइट अ शॉर्ट नॉट ऑन अ सी पी एम और वाइट अ शॉर्ट नॉट ऑन अ क्रिटिकल पाथ मैथड so let's we start with a uh, today's lecture with cpm uh, so here in a cpm whole project is divided into small number of job or operation so what is meaning of uh, number of job or operation like if you prepare one bungalow like 2 bhk bungalow so here numbers of job is a uh, different like uh, leveling then after excavation then after foundation pcc work then after brick work in a foundation soil filling work then after brick work up to superstructure concrete work at a lintel level then after slab uh, concrete work so these are the different uh, jobs or operation are there so all the projects job are dependent with each other like if you start a superstructure so superstructure is totally depend on a foundation brick work if foundation is not completed so we we can't start a superstructure brick work so it's a totally dependency activity and uh, all the jobs and operation are uh, dependent or each other and uh, some of the activities are uh, independent with other activities like uh, <coughs> like electric fitting and plumbing both are uh, different clear so both the activities are not uh, dependent on each other so both the activities start a uh, parallel means both the activities start on a uh, same time so in a critical path method all the numbers of the job or operation is uh, dependent or independent with each other and uh, time taken to complete the activity are uh, written in a diagram so here in a cpm arrow is uh, drawn and uh, above arrow time is given clear so like uh, time duration is given in the form of the days week month year etc and uh, below the arrow activities uh, description is given activities name is given like uh, excavation like brick work etc and the junction between the activities are known as a event so here junction is uh, denoted by the events so event like 1 2 3 4 in the form the 1 2 3 4 and activity denoted by the uh, alphabets a b c d and uh, cpm network is a activity oriented program so here uh, one of the difference ask in a gt examination like a, a write a difference between the cpm and pert so cpm network is a activity oriented program and uh, activity is shown by an arrow so like a uh, simple arrow so here there are the uh, two event is there in a arrow head event and tail event so when the arrow is a start is a head event and uh, end of the arrow is known as a tail event so activity is uh, shown by the arrow and uh, arrow length is uh, not so the any not uh, not so the any uh, duration or a time like 5 uh, cm length of the arrow is compulsory required etc no rules for the arrow so arrow length is not a fix uh, now next is a cpm network is generally used for the repetitive type of the project work so what is repeat repetitive type work so repetitive type work like uh, if you construct a multi story building like uh, 3 bhk flats or 3 bhk high rise building 
सो थ्री बी एच के इन थ्री बी एच के फ्लैट्स ऑल दी फ्लैट्स आर इन सेम डायमेंशन सेम डिजाइन सो इन अ फर्स्ट फ्लोर सेकंड फ्लोर अप टू फोर्टीन फ्लोर ऑल दी वर्क आर अ सेम क्लियर सो इट्स कॉल अ रिपीटेटिव वर्क लाइक ऑल्सो अनदर एग्जाम्पल लाइक रोड नेटवर्क सो इन अ रोड नेटवर्क ऑल दी वर्क आर लाइक वी टेक प्रोजेक्ट फॉर फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स टू कंस्ट्रक्ट का रोड सो हियर इन अ फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स ऑल दी रोड्स प्रोसीजर आर सेम फॉर ऑल टाइम क्लियर सो इट्स अ रिपीटेटिव टाइप ऑफ दी प्रोजेक्ट वर्क एंड सी पी एम इज सुटेबल फॉर रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट टाइप ऑफ दी प्रोजेक्ट सो हियर रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट सी पी एम नेटवर्क इज रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज सी पी एम नेटवर्क सो दी डिपेंडेंसी एंड इंडिपेंडेंसी एक्टिविटी नाउ नेक्स्ट इज अ एक्टिविटी ड्यूरेशन और अ टाइम सो इट्स अ मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट एक्टिविटी ड्यूरेशन और टाइम सो एक्टिविटी ड्यूरेशन टाइम इज रिक्वायर्ड टू परफॉर्म द एक्टिविटी लाइक वी टेक वन ऑफ द एक्टिविटी लाइक एक्सकेवेशन फॉर अ फाउंडेशन सो इन एक्सकेवेशन फॉर अ फाउंडेशन इन एक्सकेवेशन फॉर अ फाउंडेशन रिक्वायर्ड टाइम फॉर अ थ्री बी एच के बंगलो रिक्वायर्ड टाइम इज अ थ्री डेज और अ फोर डेज सो दिस फोर डेज सो द एक्टिविटी ड्यूरेशन टाइम इट्स डिनोटेड बाय द सिंबल टी ई सो वॉट इज टी टी इज अ एक्टिविटी टाइम एंड द वैल्यू टी इज रिटर्न बिलो द एक्टिविटी ऑफ द एरो सो इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट एक्टिविटी टी ई टाइम इज रिटर्न ऑन अ सी पी एम डायग्राम सो लाइक इन दॉम द डेज वीक मंथ etc and the activity duration time can be fixed on the basis of the two method like a single time estimate and a three time estimate so here what is single time estimate and what is three time estimate so in a single time estimate only t one time is given estimated time e means estimated time e means estimated and t means time so one single estimated time is given in a cpm network and uh, three times means in a part program evaluation review technique in a part three time duration is given so in a uh, next slide we discuss about the single time estimate and uh, three time estimate so what is single time estimate so cpm follow the deterministic approach and information available for each job or operation or activity and the time of the completion of the activity can be fixed easily hence the only single time estimate is sufficient so here one time is only uh, estimated uh, uh, right in a cpm network and uh, no any calculation is required only simple calculation is there uh, for this uh, total time uh, if uh, you are uh, required to total time so kindly sum uh, summation all the activities so we get the easily <coughs> easily total duration to complete the project now three time estimate so part follow the probabilistic approach probable time it's a uh, probabilistic means probable probable is a uh, not a final value it's a probable value it's a higher or lower etc so activity time estimate may be highly uncertain and uh, three time estimate are made initially and the value t work out by the empirical formula so it's a most important formula for the cpm network and a part network in a uh, for a network diagram so in a part diagram three time is given to tm and tp so what is to to is a optimistic time tp tp is a pessimistic time and tm is a most likely time in the next slide we discuss about all these three to tm and tp and te is a estimated time so from this formula you get the exact uh, uh, figure of the te value so here to tm and tp is a final uh, final uh, by using this formula we get the estimated time 
सो टी इज इक्वल टू टी जीरो सॉरी टी ओ प्लस फोर टी एम प्लस टी पी डिवाइड बाई सिक्स सो इट्स फॉर्मूला फॉर अ थ्री टाइम एस्टिमेट नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी वॉट इज ऑप्टिमिस्टिक टाइम टी ओ वॉट इज टी पी मीन्स पैसिमिस्टिक टाइम एंड वॉट इज टी एम मोस्ट लाइकली टाइम सो लेट्स वी स्टार्ट विथ अ टी ओ सो टाइम रिक्वायर टू कंप्लीट दी एक्टिविटी एज्यूमिंग एवरीथिंग गोज ऑल राइट and uh, this activity is denoted by to means we know that uh, all the activities are completed on time uh, all the activities are uh, completed as per our uh, schedule so it's called a optimistic time like we uh, target the excavation completed in a uh, 3 days and uh, we complete the excavation in 3 days so this time is known as a optimistic time so all the activities are assuming everything goes all right clear so it's called a optimistic time to next is a pessimistic time so the time required to complete the activity assuming everything goes wrong so this is denoted by tp pessimistic time p means pessimistic and t means time so in a pessimistic time like uh, if excavation uh, we uh, write that excavation completed in a 3 days but excavation is not completed in 3 days and more than 3 days like a uh, 5 days 7 days are uh, done so this time is known as a pessimistic time and time required uh, to complete the uh, and uh, this time is denoted by tp and uh, third one is a uh, most likely time so time required to complete the activity assuming that only only such a thing goes wrong is known as a most likely time so here m indicate the most likely and t indicate the time so time required to complete an activity assuming that all the activities are uh, uh, all the activities assuming that only such activities goes in a wrong side and uh, some of the activities goes in a right direction like uh, some of the activity completed on time and some of the activities are required more time or uh, uh, required more time is known as a most likely time so all these three values to tm and tp all these three values write in a uh, this equation and you get the one uh, uh, time is known as a t and the formula is that t is equal to to plus 4 tm plus tp divided by 6 clear so here we complete our uh, topic and in the next lecture we discuss about uh, cpm uh, examples so from the example you get the very well idea about the cpm network and uh, uh, pert network and also one of the important uh, question asked in a G gtu examination write a sort uh, sorry write difference between the cpm and pert network clear Thank you